Hello, my name is Tara, and this is part of Axiom Philosophy of Comparative Religion channel. Uh, the topic today is psychology. And the question that I'm putting out there is if the belief in the system of thought known as psychology uh, requires faith, if it is faith based, likened and similar to religion. I'm going to argue yes it is, and so here's my argument. Um, so faith in our forefathers and foremothers, the foundations of thought, um, <laughs> the foundations of thought for the system of thought that is modern psychology is um, based on premises that have been maintained, discarded, or improved upon. Um, from the originators of psychology around the 1930s. Obviously, it's hard to think of psychology without thinking of Freud, um, as he's one of the biggest founders. It, looking at Freud alone as an example of this evolution, we see that some of Freud's theories had no basis, some were thrown out, some were uh, maintained, and some were improved upon. So, that shows that there's an evolution of thought. Um, and so being that we can trace our history, we can see that even the thoughts that seem most modern can be improved upon eventually. So we have to bear in mind that um, some of those improvements imply that we are not, we have not reached the scope of uh, reality, that our awareness is not. Um, total or absolute so therefore it requires faith um, you know when we look at uh, initially x-rays and then later on MRIs as being a tool for analyzing psychology um, for example if the psychologist were to say dog and the patient's brain were to light up in response to dog a psychologist might presuppose that their hypothesis uh, that they were looking for might be correct. I said dog in the part of the brain that I thought would activate, activate it because I said dog. But we can see through transference or um, free association that the human mind can also jump. Maybe you say dog and you hear muzzle. Or maybe you hear dog and you hear leash. Okay. Maybe you hear dog and you hear walking. So there, and now you're thinking about walking, and so there is um, a leap of faith that those confirmations from MRIs and um, analysis of the brain are correct. Um, also, with the formation of the brain as well, you know, we presuppose to say, you know, people with this mental condition, it should look like this. This head structure like this. Is it so? Uh, reliance on empirical senses in general. So to get philosophical with you. Um, just because we can see something, taste it, feel it, smell it, does it make it so? Does it make it real or are we just perceiving? Do we even exist? Can we even prove our own existence? The answer is ultimately no. <laughs> that in itself is faith-based. So anything that, um, any thought pattern or structure is also faith-based, even if it was proved by your empirical senses, right, because is that really proof? Um, faith in your memory, you know, you have to be able to have faith that your memory is real, that you have thoughts that um, really are based on a tangible past. All we have is the present moment, the past no longer exists. How do we prove that? No more so than we can prove the future until we're there and then it's the past. So. Um, also, we have to have faith that our old notions still apply. For example, you can think, well, I know years ago in college when I learned this um, concept in psychology, it felt correct. I, I adhere to it because of that conviction, but you are not that same person now. And maybe the impression of that idea needs to be explored again to test if that really does measure up to where you stand now. Um, okay, and then faith for your ability to diagnose or heal. 
Um, just because you see an issue doesn't mean that you necessarily know how to uh, heal that issue. Maybe you can understand it in one way, but the real healing came from another department. So understanding that um, our diagnoses may not always be correct or our solutions may not always be the best ones is something to keep in mind. So for all these reasons, I'm making the case to say that even the belief in psychology itself is a faith-based action. This has been Tara Jones with Axiom. Uh, if you do like my channel, please like or subscribe. That really helps me out. Give back. Give back. Have a nice day.